Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking quick braised tofu. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to shallow fry our egg tofu. Heat up a pan, pour in a suitable amount of oil. The easier way will be to deep fry this, but we don't want to have oil splattering all around our kitchen. The tofu I have over here is approximately 320 grams. I'm using medium heat over here, so just slowly slide them in. You want to brown the tofu on both sides. Just leave it in the pan for approximately one to two minutes before we flip it over. Now why do we need to pan fry this or deep fry this first is because we want to dry up the tofu a little bit so that it can absorb the beautiful sauce later. If you cannot get egg tofu, you can use firm tofu, no problem at all. Now let's just check whether one side has been browned already or not. Just using your spatula very carefully. Just flip one over. So something like this, slightly brown would be good. So now we'll turn the tofu over. You be very careful when you do this. If you want to know how to make your own egg tofu, we also have a recipe for that. I'll link the video in the description box below. Now let's do the same for the other side. Brown them for a minute or two. Let's just give this a check. Right. They are brown already. We will now remove the tofu from the pan. Leave the heat on. Don't turn it off. Get rid of the excess oil. Once I've done this, I'll show you the next step. Now we're going to put the dish together, remove most of the oil, leaving some behind. Put in one piece of shallot chopped up, a thumb-sized ginger chopped. Just move them around. Now we'll add in three cloves of garlic chopped. You'll fry them until we can smell the beautiful aroma that's coming out from here. I'm using medium heat over here. Now we'll add in our dried mushroom. Two pieces of dried mushroom, hydrated. Cut into pieces like this. Small pieces, just put them in. Right, once you have moved them around, we'll add in our seasoning. Add in two tablespoons of spicy broad bean paste, also known as topan tiang. Half a tablespoon of black bean paste, also known as hei to tiang. Mix them up well. Now we'll add in our minced meat. 200 grams of minced pork. If you don't take pork, you can always use chicken, no problem. All right, mix them around. If the heat is too high, you can turn it down, no problem. You'll need to brown the pork a little, get rid of the excess fats, so that the dish will have this beautiful aroma. Spread the pork out, so that they'll be evenly cooked. Now we can turn the heat up to medium now. Fry until you don't see any red color on the pork itself, apart from the chili oil of course. Now we add in half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix them up well. Add in 60 grams of carrots. Same thing, mix them up well. Now add in 250 milliliters of water. You add in our tofu now. Let them braise for a while. Spread them out. Now we'll put the lid on and let them braise for five minutes. I'll see you in a while. Five minutes is up, so let's have a look. Smells really good. Now we add in our prawns. 100 grams of prawns, de shell and divane. Put it in. 60 grams of snow pea. Just from the head over here, just pull out the spine. Just put it in. Now we just need to mix them up and make sure that the prawns are cooked. If it's a little bit dry and you want a little bit of sauce, just feel free to add in just a little bit of water, not too much. We need to cook the prawns as well as to steam the peas. Prawns cook pretty fast, so this will just take about a minute or so. This is a very easy and wholesome meal. So the prawns are almost done. We are thickening it up with cornstarch solution now. Thicken it up to the consistency that you like. Slowly add, and then just mix them around. Okay, this will be good. Now we'll just drizzle one egg over. 
And the final touch, I'll be adding in one tablespoon of Hua Piao Jiu. Now, of course, if you don't take alcohol, you can always omit this. All right, time to serve this. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Smells really good. Let me try the tofu first. The tofu has soaked up the sauce. It's really, really nice. Now for the prawn. Mm. The prawn is cooked perfectly well. Very crunchy, very flavorful. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.